Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVPNet video series on Array Interview Question Series and this question is question number 5. And this question is very interesting. You have to sort an array of zeros, ones and twos. So your array would look like this. So this is your array, 2, 1, 0, that's it. So obviously, first you should have zeros and then you should have ones and then you should have twos, that's it. Then one obvious answer is you can use a sort function and you can sort these like you will use a quick sort and you'll sort them. So the complexity of that would be n log n. Is this acceptable? No, we can do better than this. What we can do, we can have a map of integer and integer. This is small m, okay, and this is capital M map. And just simply loop over this in a for loop and map of i plus plus should do the job and you iterate over this map and how the internal structure would look like zeros will be three we have three zeros right one two three and ones will be one two three okay three twos are like oh all they are three okay good so map if you iterate over this map like for e colon map and this e will be like a pair so its first value will be pointing to this guy and second value will be pointing to this guy so you just have to print zero three times and then again you will come here and e will get initialized with this pair and then you have to print one three times and then two three times that's it this is okay solution because you are using map then interviewer may ask you like can you get rid of this map and give me the solution so let me make this little smaller okay this should work so what we will do actually we'll have three different variables low mid and high low we will initialize with zero mid we will initialize with zero high we will initialize with whatever the length is minus one i'll tell you why all these things are happening actually the logic is this low will tell you where the boundary is for zeros and this high will tell you like from where to start so basically if you this is your array then you will have low here and high here why high here because your twos will always be here and your zeros will always be here so high will point to twos so we have to initialize high from the back and low will always point to zeros. So zeros for sure would be starting from zeroth location. So we have to assign this zeroth location and mid also will initialize with the zeroth location, but we'll keep incrementing this. And let me tell you what is the idea. The idea is you will try to put zeros at correct position and twos at correct position and automatically these ones will come to their correct position okay i'll tell you again you will try to put zeros at their correct position and twos to their correct position and ones will automatically come to their correct position so let me show you how this will work so we have say low here and mid here and here we have high and now we'll start checking. Is this zero? No. Is this one? No. Is this two? Yes. Then we have to swap this with high. So high is still pointing at two. Don't worry, you swap them. And let's assume you have swapped because the result will be same. Now what you will do, you will decrement this edge by saying that I know at this location I have two. So now I have to fill this location. Okay. Now you will make your edge here. Now edge is not standing here. Now I'll see, is this zero? No. Is this one? No. Is this two? Yes, it is. If it is two, then you have to swap it with high. What high is pointing at one. So we'll swap that. So one will come here, two will come here. Now we'll decrement this two now. So I mean decrement this pointer and we'll point to this location. Okay. Now we are not pointing to this location. So now this is how it will look like. See your L and M are still standing here. And there is a reason M will only move when it will encounter one. 
and L will only move further, I mean move in this direction when it will encounter zero. So middle is there to handle ones and high is there, I mean this is edge, high is there to handle twos and this low is to, to handle zeros. Okay, so whenever we will encounter zeros, then only we will increment low, whenever we will encounter one, we will increment M and whenever we will encounter two at its correct position, we will decrement height because we have to go in, in the reverse direction, right? So now this is your current position. Now see, as this is one and I told you, whenever you will encounter one, you will increment M. So we have encountered one, so we'll safely increment M. So we'll come here and M is no longer here. So we were standing here just because we were always checking this M. We have to always loop between while M is less than your height, I mean high. So when middle is less than height, then only you will keep swapping. If this condition is not true, I mean this is equal okay so if this is not true then in that case you have already sorted it but you can see that your m is still less than your high so you'll check is this one yes it is you'll just simply increment it now your m is here is this one no it is not then what you will do you will swap this with this guy why because this is zero so you have to swap it with this guy right now you will swap it and this l will get incremented I'll show you how it will look like. So we have zero here. This is one here. L was here. M was here. Now L will increment. We will come here. And before we had M here, right? Now M will not be there. M will come here. So we have L here, M here. Now you will check this. Is this one so that I can go ahead? No, it is not one. Is this zero? No, you don't have to swap it with this. Is this two? Yes, it is two. Then you have to swap it with high. So let's swap that. Okay, we have swapped it. Before your high was here. Now high will decrement by one. So we will point height here. I mean high here. And your M was pointing here. And now you will not increment M. Because it is possible that whatever you have swapped with two. Now after swapping, this will be zero. See, and this is the case. It is zero now. So you have to swap this again with this position. So you have to swap these two. So it would look like this. We have zero here and we have one here. And now you will increment this M to point to this guy. And this L will get incremented and it will point here. So this is how it would look like. Okay. So this is the position. M is one. Yes, we have to increment M. M will come here now. As this is zero, M is pointing at zero. We will swap with L. So let's swap that. So finally it is like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2 and 2. Okay. This is how you will do it. But this is complex, right? I mean, why you will think all these things? The simple solution would be like you have already taken these uh, three variables. What you could have done even better was, let's say, take three variables. So like you can have a 0, 1 and 2 variable. Whenever you encounter something, you just increment that particular variable name. That's it. And then you know you have to print these first, then these and then these. That's it. You are done. Why we are learning this? Just because if you have to change the array itself, I mean, you are giving this array to a function and in return you want the same array to be replaced. I mean, you can do that with this approach also. Then you have to initialize that array with these many zeros and then these many ones and these many twos. But then it depends like what your interviewer is asking. If he is happy with these approach, I mean, you can go ahead and win that deal. But maybe he is exactly looking for this kind of solution. Then there you go. You know this solution now. So thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. I'll see you in the next videos.